Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick 331. We got some more collabing with Castlevania today in the Ode to Castlevania DLC with Vampire Survivors Castlevania collab. Vampire Survivors collab, Castlevania. Yeah, we're doing Julius Belmont to try and get our way over to Richter Belmont as well. He's next in line, but it's going to be a long, strange journey. So, Julius Belmont starts with Extra Arcana, Arcana 19, Heart of Fire, when health is low, might is increased, can find special pickups. Let's get the man who defeated Dracula once and for all in play. An ode to Castlevania. Alright, as always, start out with Moonlight Bolero. Whips. I bet funky. Gotta whip it good. Everything good. Alchemy whip I'd prefer. Okay, what could you possibly evolve? What could you possibly evolve with? Well, till I fill up on all my whips. Well, no, I could have one extra passive. Whips, whips everywhere. The base whip's still pretty dang good, you know. But that's not going to be in play here. It's all going to be DLC whipping. I got enough to do that now. All right, what have we used up for our whips? We've got Terjisu, Crown, Attractor, Skull, Stone Mask, and Candle Arbor. So, Vintage still remains an option. Hopefully, we can get it. Then we get it fast enough. There's a regular whip. I don't want to deal with a regular whip nonsense. Vantius whip. That's your base whip. Is that weird little uh kind of limpy one. Then let's grab all the things that could possibly evolve it. And then I'll use the armadillos on the map. We're looking at spinach. Bonus box. Bracer. Bracer may make no sense. Uh, so would Spellbinder. That wouldn't make sense either. Pomerola. How to get Pomerola. I want to make sure I get it. I could just look it up. But I want to experiment. Cool down reduce by half a second. Empty Tome, of course. Still hasn't gotten a whip with Empty Tome. And it said might, right? Avanti whip. That's Ken Labrador. Now I got two kind of wimpy whips going out. Whipping bad guys. I did hit record, right? Well, now I'm willing not to look up the evolution. Something like making sure I need if Raging Fire is on the map and I can pick it up. That's good. But otherwise I will play shot. I much prefer to have she and Jonathan together for their first video. I got controllers, but you know, hey, you gotta do with what you gotta do if you need to do it. Want to get that Richter going in? Also, gotta make sure I roll the name correctly, Richter. Oh yeah, I'm a purist for that. OG dub. It was good. It was fine. It was great. It was amazing. Level 7. Pace area up. Damage up. Oh, it does explosion effects too. Oh, they're very big now. Yeah, I have a feeling spinach is going to do it. Feels like that would happen with explosions. Haven't needed to max anything out, so... I'll just keep going with what I can get. My whips are high level. I can get away with just getting it with what I have. On spinach evolution. No, dang. Okay, so looking at armor too. That feels like it wouldn't make much sense. Wings is a pickup. Alright, but I'm close to maxing out my whips, so... Uh, let's go down 
And a merchant. Yep, but bigger. Uh, go fight the plant. I'm gonna need to pick up Mad Group too for the Metaglio. I don't know if it will do anything. Maybe I actually need to summon White Death or something. Hmm. That could be an option for someone else. I want to maximize whips if I'm doing Belmont. You know, as God intended. Belmont without a whip? Nah, that's just some nonsense. Oh, well, okay. I didn't mean to grab it. Also, all the whips are basically the same model, just colored differently. The booty whip. Sonic whip. See if I can get another passive picked up here. Not having much luck on the passives. A lot of luck on the whips, though. Man, Sonic Whip really whipped up, huh? Whoom. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gotta get that whipping going. No VTuber reactions here. Nothing but whipping action. Good old whipping action. Max it out? Well, let's test it. Nope, just a Pomerola. Let's see, it does explosions. Uh, Tronus box armor, bracer, and spellbinder don't look like they would make any sense. Alchemy whip. I really like the alchemy whip. It's definitely my favorite weapon so far. Tome, armor, bracer. Kind of, maybe. Da, 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 da. And I'm not getting much in the way of passives. Going up, huh? Well, any whip is fine. Well, any DLC whip is fine. So just give it to me. Don't give me that jet black whip. This wave seems to spawn in a lot less. Maybe it's just from the outside. Hey there, Medusa. Wait, what? In oh, neat. Hey. And I want to explore on the top right here because I haven't actually been over there. Might be something. Empty tome. Oh, nope. Unfortunate. Well, you don't want to make the tome even more powerful. It evolves more weapons. Photon Storm is enough. Do, 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 do. Whip it. Whip them all. You're not Bellman unless you're whipping it good, right? Right, folks? Yeah, my throat's going to be a nightmare after this. Good thing I probably start Twilight today. It's today, right? Yeah. Then extermination. Did I mess up? I got to check my schedule. Oops, sorry. Okay, yeah, it is Pro Star Twilight today. Which is good, because that should be nice and short. I was in no danger, clearly. That's why I was able to look away. That's absolutely pot roast. Yujisu is elsewhere. I get you up to max, that pulls you out of the pool. More helpful things. And there is my ability to take on the behemoth. In my hands, in my hands. Or I think this is behemoth. I'll grab the chest and then head up. I got six whips. That's almost too many whips. Nah, it's never enough whips. Whip it good. Whip everything. Whoops. 
wings. That's a good pickup anyway, just because of how huge the map is. Making good time. You actually get to fight the weapon bosses early like this it is nice. Hollow Heart has actually hasn't evolved any of the DLC whips, so I gotta take it just in case. I mean, it'd be really silly considering the base whip evolves with it. But you never know. Right, so armor is like the last one I would want, but I do have two armadillos, but I have to spend one of the armadillos on the other thing. Possible that Arma Aegis does it. Da -da -da -da. Well, max you out just in case. Oh yeah, it does one of them. Evolves with nothing. Evolve Vantus Whip. Every seven fact change generates an explosion with damage affected by max health. Ah, so it's Hollow Heart. Yep, good thing I grabbed it. Okay, now I can grab something else to try and evolve one of the other whips. All right, Tier Jesus on the map. Skull or Candle Labrador. Work. Hopefully one of them shows up. Oh, nice. That's the cross sound effect, or the cross crash sound effect. Back lip. So that brings in Candle Labrador as well as Skull. I don't get it soon. Alright, if I don't get it on this level, I'll just grab the chest and go. Yeah, I don't got time to mess around. And yeah, that's, I think, everything except Richter's whip evolved at some point. No, you'll just follow me along the way. Treasure Goblin. Right, what would Richter's evolve with? Bracer, because obviously he's going to smash things. Jam and try. Oh, right. I wanted to explore up top. Oh, well. Here I go. And it would totally be Ponko like to hide something up there. Even if there's no indication of it, right? I mean, Inverse is probably going to be a brand new stage filled with no bosses and all that nonsense. Hey, Alchemy Whip. Yay, Alchemy Whip. Da, 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 da. Okay, I've been over here. There was nothing. Nine minute Gorgon. You can't. You can only just give me some stuff. Crown? One of these evolves with crown. One of the whips I don't have evolves with crown. Huh, why are they so dark all of a sudden? The wind whip is crown. Oh well. Crack warp? Oh, candle Labrador. A oh, beautiful. Well, maybe I can get a candy box and do it. Building looks open. Oh, yep, this is definitely some sort of secret. Uh, maybe come up here as Alucard? Uh, the Colosseum fight with fake Trevor, fake Sylph, and fake Grant. Uh, let's see, go over to this graveyard here, too. Neutron bomb. Oh man, that just reeks of some sort of secret. Huh, that one looks like you can go into it. For alchemy whip up first, because I gotta get that vampire killer. I love vampire killer. Oh, heart, that's fine. Actually, you'll evolve, won't you? No. Yeah, there's. 
gotta be something in here. You must be the one that evolves with the Candle Labrador. Yeah, yeah, just weren't high enough level. Okay, get down, grab the Tier Jisu, beat up the Giant Bat, head on. Right. Hmm. Does feel like an Alucard secret, those ones. It just immediately my mind goes to the fake fight in Symphony of the Night in the Coliseum. With the three of them fighting Alucard. Just because there's three coffins, right? And we already got Doppelganger. What's to say we don't get that fight as well? Actually, no, I still need to get the Tier Jisu. Then it's just faster to run straight through, isn't it? I need to get the Metaglio from the Arcana Bat, too. Or, not the Metaglio, the Mad Groove. Since I kissed the Metaglios with it. Uh oh. Did I miss it? No, it's at the very end, of course. That gets me the Armadillos, doesn't it? Wait, yeah. Da da da. Roma. And I'd want a tractor for leveling. Oh, the head is away from the body. Well, that alchemy whip. Okay, I got... Oh, I don't have an NFT. Uh, well, pump out the damage I can on you guys. It's about to get really crazy up here. Uh, size. Got a lot of levels to burn. It's, now this is faster to get to Giant Bat. And I can come in from the right. Much faster, that bat. Boy, howdy. Oh, good, another Warlogian. Alchemy Whip. Ooh, doesn't get destroyed. Oh, hey, Skull Neat. Ah, oh, Chris again, tip. It's open for Vampire Killer. Well, I have everything on the map, so... I even mean, have the other armadillo, so I'll go straight to the bosses. Hey, what's down there? Oh, that's the... This dude. Actually, I should go for them first, so I can get the weapons. Beef up my power a bit. More. Not gonna last long. Not against what I... Throwing is not an F motion. Probably. Man, this guy is so far down. Like a secret path even farther down. Bra battle. Bra battle. No pickups to save me. Not till Madgrove shows up. Uh, is this one with stone whip masks? Well, another chest will get me stuff. Okay, yeah, you didn't survive long. Oh yeah, vampire killer. Take that, bad guys. No spellbinder, though. There's Dayburger Tip, Quick Hits, Maximize Amount of Projectiles. Woo! Let's get Crown up. One down, four more to go. As one of them duplicated themselves, go figure. I take down Abaddon. I need to take down, uh, what was it? 
Gurgoth or something with you? That should be fine. I don't know which one is Gurgoth, but I'll take down everything I can. I have a tractor, so I can get the Hydromancer tip. Alright, let's get Abaddon in play first. Boss, burn that treasure goblin. I think that one requires stone mask. We'll see. Yeah, stone mask is required there. Wait, did the discus show up? Yeah, I have discus. So much going on, it's crazy. Right, let's get you into play and then head down for Zephyr. I think his name is Zephyr. It's hard to tell. And you're just getting a vampire killer down. The power of the sun in my hands. No regular whip. So my healing survivability is a bit lower than it has been. Still, enough raw power, plus guaranteed tier Jisoo. Helps keep things nice and paunchy. And mostly Atlanteans are going down now. So many items. Look at what's going on. And you're going down too. Eyeball, you're about to get sunned. There's Hydro Stormer tip. Back to work for levels. Ooh, I got my big storm of level ups here. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, I don't have Bracer. And I should check real quick. Yeah, of course, Skull. I mean, that's fine. I want to maximize my power. Hmm. Power of the sun. Hit him with the power of the sun. Why isn't the power of the sun activating? No, oh, no. There you go. And the Atlantean duplicated itself again. The duplicate every time it goes down near a boss? That's very odd if it does. I'm going to grab you for more weapons. Twelve weapons and so much everything. Well, I should have gone. Well, I don't. I can't evolve any of the spell bucks, huh? Not until I get other stuff. Well, fight you. Just get tear juice out of the pool for now. Uh, discus, discus. Frost will deny a ton of stuff. Daybreak tip, whatever it is. Oh, does it summon the eggs, too? Huh, guess it does. Neato. Oh, Pino. This is going pretty well. That Magru was nice to pick up. Discus I can actually evolve, so grab it. First. Whip it. Good. Oh, there was a chest there. Ouch. Man, you're sure lasting forever. Okay, yeah, that was real close. This was fine to do. Uh, what type of chest are you? You're an evolution chest. But I can't evolve anything because, well, look at this. Look at what's going on in this world. Hmm. Nothing here. Then I gotta go beat up these guys. The Medusa Head and Slorga and Gaiban. Everyone's favorite pair bosses. I mean, what else is, could it be? Ornstein and Smoke? They got nothing on Slorga and Gaiban. Tarjan. Err. Not Tarjan. Aegisan. Weapons. 
empty tomb. Still don't know what that blue attack is. It comes off the Sonic Whip. It only looks like it comes off the Sonic Whip. I don't think it's like a crit or anything. Well, we shall see. I'll just activate you, start dragging you along with me. Then we can fight an Atlantean and three bosses. Ooh, maxed out empty tome. You love to see it. Come on, Slorga Gaiban. Don't you want to be impressive for the Medusa head? Feel the power of the sun within you? Wings of an angel. Not gonna stand here and wait. Many bosses are here now. Every boss is here. Ha ha ha. Tails. Huh. You dropped two independent of everything. Well, ice book is ice book. Clover. Alright, let me check the Discord to see if Raging Fire is in the stage. Or, you know, no one could answer. That sucks. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. If I go Charlotte, in order to get the Raging Fire Vault to unlock John, who would then unlock Jonathan. Huh? Would I then unlock Eric? God, so many unlocks to unlock. Alright, this unlocks... No, wait. It's This unlocks Soma. Once I beat Gurgle off or whatever. I mean, I have more than enough time. I have 11 minutes. Alright, get... Uh, well, everything taken care of. Rock Riot. I should probably should grab wings, right? That would make sense. Oh man, his base whip is going to be terrible for the bite. Power of the sun compels you. And even with all that, not going down that fast. Hey, Bracer. That'll all have two weapons. Neat. Hey, I make sure to jump up the uh, inclines. They are very... Oh, I got multiple whips firing out. Oh, it's whatever weapons in the first slot. That's what does it. It actually means this whip is better than what I would have otherwise. And then as it f goes on with whatever internal clock it has, because the top clock certainly doesn't, then adds your second and third and fourth weapons and so on. Okay, so yeah, if your first weapon is just terrible, you can just wait. Also, I suppose you could technically soft lock yourself here if you go in like Divano. Huh. And, you know, not have any weapons. Flippy flip flip. So you know you're a Belmont. When you have atrocious knockback whenever anyone so much as looks at you. No, everything else is over to the right. Might give me enough time to actually go down to the bottom door after finishing the bosses to see if it opens it. Especially with more wing action. And if I can speed break through the walls. That would help considerably with it too. Ice Fang won't evolve because I do not have Spellbinder. Oh, wow, a Golden Finger. More Karoma's thing. I might actually get the Cosmic Finger here, too. 
well, look at this nonsense. And it's still gonna get worse. Cosmic, woohoo, give me that anima. Sweet, sweet anima. Oh, right, it's, uh, the duration is increased too, because I have the Chroma's mana. Uh, sure, victory sword. I mean, I'd prefer to an anima, but hey. Dang it, no speed break. More weapons, more. Right. There's Yagu Shuriken. Ooh. Throw shurikens everywhere, too. I guess that's kind of what I would want to build for... Gr I mean, there's only three actual... Or two knives, right? They're just regular knives and... Well, I guess Thousand Edge. And then the curved knife. And the walker knife. There's nothing else. Just... Oh, well. Power of the sun compels you. Da da da. Silver ring. And we got a bracer. Oh, goody, Arcana. I could use that to get an anima, but meh. That's worthless. Uh. That sounds like some sweet shooting. Do I have anything that'll evolve? Uh, probably not. So grab it anyway. Okay, there's only two more bosses left, right? Three more? Oh yeah, that lesser behemoth thing. Uh, Gel Goff in the super hidden library. And then, er, other guy. Oh no, go off, uh, thing and, oh, paranoia, that's it. I'll remember that name because it's paranoia and it's very easy to remember. Oh, wait. No, it's almost at the end. No speed breaking through. Quite all this. No speed breaking through. Right, this one's a bit closer. Curve knife I can get because I have bracer now. Not sure if it requires max bracer though. Oh hey, spellbinder. Now I can upgrade that tome too. And this chest was pretty close. I don't care too much. Clover. Lucky, lucky clover. Da, da, da. There we go. Down and around. Oh yeah, I'll have plenty of time. So much time. It's baffling how much time I'll have. Curve knife. Now I can get a Boaka knife. Maybe if I get a candy box, I'll grab Clock Lancet. Why am I bothering to stay still? I just should go after the other one, too. More enemies, more. Wait, is it seriously the one above? Huh. Oh, yeah, there's the mark on the wall. What? Oh, do I have to beat him first before it opens? Yeah, I think I have to beat Paranoia first before the passage opens. No, no, I was just looking at the wrong one. Okay. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Walk a knife. Loverific. Spell binding, yeah. Come on, just, just let me speed break through. Look at what's going on on screen. You did not consider that enough to just break through on to the other side. Oh well. The winder it is. 
chaos. We got some chaos going on here, don't we? Spellbinding. Did anything even get the benefit of Spellbinder aside from the Ice Tome? Man, I'm just looking at the map so often. Sadly, this is far more visible than a lot of the other ones recently. Think you're Galgoth? Well, either way, I'll have enough time to finish off everything. Oh, the sun compels you. Hey, and there's an eyeball, too. Good grief, you are not surviving this. Bye bye. So that might unlock Shinoa, uh, might unlock half of Maria, or it might unlock something else. I don't know. It's really confusing and very long. I mean, my goal is to go in order of the characters on there, on the page itself. Now that's just how I've been doing it. So if I have to go on and do a bunch of other characters in order to unlock Richter, then I will do and unlock a bunch of other characters in order to unlock and play Richter. And then do whatever happens in the throne room. Because, boy, is that looking to be a thing, huh? I mean, there's got to be some wild and wacky vampire survivor stuff that's going to be happening there. Yerum. Another chest opened. Hey, it's thrown this box. I can get soul solution. And there's Gale Force being able to evolve. I think I'm only missing like Stone Mask at this point. Well, I guess a specific weapon things. Oh, I can't evolve Gale Force because it's not level up. Right, this will be the last boss. How long are you going to last? Will you touch me? Will you get in close on Julius Belmont? It does not look like it. Ouchies. That sure hurt for you. Okay, so I got plenty of time to go investigate everywhere. Yay, reward points. I think Stone Mask is for the two that I'm missing, isn't it? Oh, yay, big level up. Well, I'll get Gale Force up to Tempest. Or Panuma Tempestus. Boss. I don't know why I'm getting Clover. It doesn't really do anything at this point. Maybe get Arcana Goblins? No. Uh, well, no. Luck to get Eyeballs, maybe. No, actually, I should focus on enemy increasing stuff. First, get my curse up. That gets my curse up eventually. Or maybe I should just mash A whenever it comes up. That's probably going to be a better option. Alright, looks like every boss is dead. I've cleared out everything. Nothing happened in the throne room. Nothing on the room on the left. So, hope maybe this unlocks the door down here, but... If it doesn't, then it's got to be something related to Richter and his weird f possible fight and cutscene in the throne room. I mean, why does an Alucard fight Richter in there? Huh? Nope, still not opening. Okay, maybe try the coffins, maybe clean out all the bosses does something there. I doubt it, but hey. I got time. Nope, chest. 
Dolo Maniac. Dolo Maniac. Ring, 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 banana phone. Da, 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 da. This is some beautiful vampire servers nonsense going on, isn't it? Can't even tell what's remotely happening on screen. Hmm? Usually. I mean, it's super hard coded, coded to not let you get through. Like, if I go up this far, there's probably gonna be a super hard invisible wall, too, yeah. Like, this is something else so entirely that even... It's locked off even this high up. Prevent me from doing it. They really don't want you doing whatever the sequence breaking would be here. Oh, let's go see if those coffins do anything. Probably not, but hey. What else is going to be done? After all, it's a nice, exciting adventure in Ode to Castlevania. Corona box. It's a victory sword. Something wrong with the spells on the switch, it seems. That's not a good sign. Woo. Make the enemies spawn even more. Oh, hey. I haven't been... I haven't actually come back here in the late game, so I haven't been seeing some of these enemies. I've been out and about everywhere else. Certain enemies are restricted to certain spots. Spawns. Armor up. This will surely do something. Okay, yeah, nothing here. Not much of a surprise. I do think it's going to be an Alucard secret. It just sort of feels like how it is with how it's set up. Yeah, I didn't go here with him. Alright, maybe I need to bring all four of them in. Bring in the classic team. Alucard, Silpha, Trevor, also Grant's here. Why wasn't Grant in the Castlevania series, man? Why, wow, everyone loves Grant the Nasty. He's the Nasty Man. Oh, you don't let me lag break up here either. Interesting. Huh, there might be some hidden there too. Maybe the area expands. Usually it's only like the super map edges that does something like this. Now if I really wanted it, Jesus, I'd just pick Splotty Sammy. And then nothing would matter. I'd evolve everything instantly. Alright, another Beswick episode down. Yay, Soma. Yay, Vantis Whip. Damn, Tip did the most. 18 mil. But Phenuma Tempest had the most DPS and would have completely crushed it if it was up for 16. So with that much time, I would have had like 40 million. Very strong, that. Really good if I did a quick evolve it. Uh, next up on the chain. Evolve Guardian's Targe, which is... Maria is Jonah and Just. Be Just. Okay, we get Jonah. Iron Ball and Alucard Spear. Evolve the Javelin. Evolve the Hand Grenade, which is what Soma starts with. That means Raging Fire, which means Charlotte. But Soma first, so I can get Jonathan. Okay, so I can do Jonathan and Charlotte. So yeah, Soma Cruise next. And yeah, thanks for messing around in the Vampire Spire Specific 331. 331 down. With Julius Belmont, the man, the myth, the legend, who took down Dracula for the final time. 
And double takes it down if someone goes evil. Go figure. That's 1,963 completed. And that takes us up to 93 characters. And 269 to go. Oh, God. It was so low. It was so low. That's what you get on Old Castlevania and Vampire Survivors. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you haven't. And thank you anyone who has. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivors Beswick.